I know. Beautiful truck. I love the color. Thank you. That's a 58? Mm-hmm. All right. What all, what all do you have done to it? Well, it's got a 10 bolt rear end on it. 383 under the hood with a 700R. Okay. Uh, this brake conversion, power seat conversion. Nice. Do you mind if I see the engine? Yeah, it's kind of ugly right now. I'm cleaning up the yeah. parking on it. That's alright. It's still a beautiful car. Or truck. I like it. It's dirty. We've been fixing leaks and everything everywhere. And Oh, I get it, but looks like I finally fixed the water leak. <laughs> I love this paint. How long have you owned it? And the back here, is that airbrushed or? Yeah, that's all airbrushed. That's just sick. That is awesome. Uh, a lady named Molly, she goes by Flames McGee. She did all the airbrush work on it. That looks unreal. She had done some work for me on a couple of customers' bikes that I did. And Dad wanted to do something to, once we finally put a tailgate on. Because I had a whole custom tailgate built for it. Really? Shaved all that off, so it's got little tabs and it's bolted on the inside, so it's, yeah, it stays closed. Like, I don't hold it. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's definitely. God, this thing is just immaculate. I called her up and he kind of gave her an idea. He wanted to go with the Apache theme. So at least, you know, he was thinking like a big old headdress or yeah, like the big, the big arrow with all the feathers and stuff on it. But that wasn't the Apache thing. So she kind of researched it and did the correct arrow and everything like because I want a flame and arrow on there. She yeah. did the Apache arrow on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean we were wanting to get some more work done on the fire on the firewall but it never happened. I may end up doing it though. If I can get a hold of her and do something right. Like a, a Apache kind of stall with the war headdress or something. Oh that'd on be it. nice. You know it just kind of ghosted on the firewall. Yeah. yeah. No, it's definitely tastefully done. This blue just pops. That there on the tailgate, it's just like subtle, and it's right there, and it just works. Like, thank you. It's a it's a Dodge truck blue. Really? Yeah. It's got the intense blue pearl metallic. Sometimes you gotta just borrow uh, colors from uh, other other makers. You well, know, we originally built the truck. You wanted to go red. It was a uh, a Dodge Inferno red. Uh huh. I was like, that's an expensive color. That's like a three-stage color. You know, it's a base color, mid color, and clear. And he's like, oh, how about yellow? And he tossed around the idea of yellow, and he ended up picking this blue. I'm like, man, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't picture it on the truck. And so I found the truck painted, and this truck has, draws attention to where it goes with this color. And I was like, what color is that? I'm like, that's just factory Dodge blue. It's so really? funny when you see a factory color on a classic car because it really pops, yeah. you know. That's, so that's that's my thing is I, I see some of the new car colors that come out and I'm like, man, that look really cool on the old car. Yeah. You know, you see it on a new car, like, yeah. But you throw it on like this color, for instance, you throw it on something old, it's just, it was like, is that a custom candy or real? No, it's a factory color. Yeah, I would definitely say this was a custom color. Oh, I mean... It just really works well with your trim and the, the bumpers and whatnot. So. But, um, so he used to take it to a bunch of car shows. So he's got a whole room for trophies, you know, best of show, first place. Oh, I, I believe it. This thing is 
beautiful. We made a invitation only to the best of the best car show one year. For right. that. Well, when it was first done, it didn't even have a tailgate on it. And he had some guy who wanted to take pictures of him for a magazine. He's like, not right my tailgate's done. I was like, are you kidding me? They want to take pictures of him, even not the tailgate. Yeah. This thing is beautiful. And the fact that it's been done for 17 years, I mean, this is just... I just had some touch-up work here and there, don't I? Because we don't have it. Anymore. Yeah, absolutely. But, it, you know, some people just go a little bit too custom, and when they do that, the car gets dated very quickly. Yeah. So the fact that, I mean, this is classic. This is timeless right here. The interior is... They did the little diamond plate oh, tread nice. plate in there, and then the, the little bow tie thing is actually a, a step pad for a step side pad. Oh wow, very cool. And that dash is, I mean, the way you carry the blue through in there, that's just beautiful. Yeah, it was a, Thank you. a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, they, they're always a lot of work and a lot of money. Yeah. You keep telling me, you made me spend all this I said, no, I didn't. I just made you buy what it needed to be replaced. <laughs> uh huh. That's the way I, I do this for a living. I couldn't make it up and throw it out there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is just, that blue, blue is just, good Good call on the blue. Absolutely, good <laughs> call on the blue. It was definitely a good call. If he's mentioned it, I'm like, oh, no, no. When I painted it, it was like, oh. Yeah, wow. Totally, with the, totally different color with the body lines on this compared to what it came out on, you know, like the Dakotas and the Dodge Rams. Absolutely. I got a stand delivery. I was going to do like this lime pearl green color. I don't think about just painting this color. Yeah. There's, there's another stand delivery when I was like a lime green. It's just a solid lime green. Big bright. Yeah. We got, finally got the motor pulled out. We built the motor. And I was like, what are you going to say? What? Yeah. I don't want to paint the same color as Dad's truck. That's a good well, it might do some lime green flames on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or you know what would look really nice if you did this blue but did like uh, ghost flames? We talked about that one time, maybe doing some ghost flames on it. I did some ghost flames on his 90 yeah, something Ford pickup. Black and I did uh, a purple pearl ghost flames on it. And you know, you walk up a truck and look black through cuts on and the flames jump out. And so. Yeah. I can't get over this blue. This blue is just well, this nice. Is you know, kind of somewhat stock looking. And, yeah. You know, the whole engine bay used to be, the firewall and everything used to be a dark gray, and the underside of the hood was a dark gray, and when we you know, put the new fenders on the truck, they painted the motor blue, blue valve covers, which I just took off, because they wouldn't hold a gasket to save your life, and kept leaking oil. So I just threw some on there for now, for off of my car, to keep it from I buy new ones for it. When I redid it, I painted the firewall, put the smooth firewall on, and painted it blue, and then I said, well, all the, the motor blew us. It could be too much blue, Dad. He's like, no, nah, it'd be fine. I said, no, it's too much blue. He goes, mm -hmm. what? I said, I got this brighter silver. I said, let's do some contrast. And so I painted it. I painted the inner side of the hood blue, painted the firewall blue, and just did the fender wells and the little piece crust top there. Yeah, silver. I mean, that. I agree. I think that's a nice touch for contrast. Oh, I've been way too much blue because the block's blue. It had blue valve covers on it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah that, that silver there, that gray. That's a nice contrast, so for it sure. It's more of a charcoal grade, like what the gas tank is painted. I'll so I gotta, tell you the year. I'd pull it out and put new carpet in and paint the gas tank. Repaint the gas tank. Definitely a beautiful truck.